Hi guys, we've reached into something, uh, we're just doing a little test of, uh, we may not get this in actually, um, we just looked into uh, something, something pretty, uh, Bit lag in there. I believe the oh, what's that line? It's a sucker. May have may have got off now, you guys. <coughs> I think we've lost it, guys. Um, I don't know where all that flat line comes from. Or it may be one of the big, bigger fish that's been swimming towards this white market all this time. Oh, yeah. There you go. I have had them put the tension back up where I think we've lost this one, guys. There's nothing on that area. No. Oh well, that was a good start of. Uh, I just cast straight on that corner, right? Right. There. It's actually dragged our boat a little bit. We weren't this close to the rock, but it. I just dropped it in there, like that. and it went screaming off. Just thought I'd. Uh, one of the guys who were. Mike, who we were chatting with the last stream, he said he was going to give this uh, this corner a go, and uh, we got right on it, you know, on the first cast. So I just thought I'd, uh, I'd have a gummy cells and work my way around uh, with some top water and some... Sorry guys, that's my mouse playing off again. We're about this far away uh, from the corner of that reed and it was the first cast. As soon as we hit the water it was off. Um, and we couldn't stop it. Actually, yeah. Uh, to start the stream, I had to minimise out of the game a couple of times, so, you know, uh, maybe that gave it too much slack line at certain points. Uh, what I was going to say is, uh, I've just read in the, hopefully that's not in the reads, I've just, I've just read in the, uh, the new update patch that the increase the chance of getting bigger fish in uh, when the fight's longer than five minutes uh, duration you've got less chance of uh, fish coming off um, but obviously <laughs> that wasn't a five minute fight uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. It actually uh, got that bite on the sink, and uh, maybe it's it was right close to that reed there. It was uh, it's real in a late drop. You can see it dropping there. If you get the right speed up, we should be able to do a stop and go. Eh?
Okay. I have another couple of casts for this and then I'll do the top water on the shallower part. I'll see if I can cast where I got it. It was right at the edge of there again, just like that. And it went storming on. Top to the bottom. There's a drop off there and it's uh well, it's pretty inviting for anything coming out of the depths to to take the uh, you know to take the lure off the off the pile. <clears throat> Very exciting for the uh, first cast of a new session. That's about where I cast a bit and it just went fine. I don't know if there's any uh oh that got into a bit, didn't it? I was just gonna say I don't know if there's any um in game code in that that, you know, that coding to actually move the rod like you would in real life, you know, like the twitching. That's not fine. You know, that seemed to begin it with the movement, but it, all the movement is is a certain movement through the water, isn't it? But I was, you know, if you were fishing, you'd be twitching like that, but you'd also, you know, you might even be something like that, you know, or I can't do it with a mouse, but more of a, you know, more of a actual, actually that's twitching without actually hitting the small, like, vigorous twitch uh, that without using, I'm just reeling in here, guys, and using the mouse, obviously it's a bit, uh, bit erratic, but, uh, it's not needed when you can get the twitch with the right button, but see that's twitching and I'm only reeling in and moving the rod. So I was wondering whether that was in game that they'd actually, you know, because you could, you could twitch faster and slower, I suppose, you know, with the, with moving the mouse left and right. You know, you could actually do that sort of thing, let it drop and do that. Now that's just reeling in and moving the, moving the rod. You know, so it's like a slower twitch than, and it's actually a, a wider movement than the actual. This I'll do the right button twitch now. Uh, if we just reel in, that's the right button twitch, which is a, like a limited sort of twitch, if you know what I mean. That's that's with the right button. This is the. Uh, you know, you can do it, you can go a lot further with the actual movement of, of the rod. Okay, let's try some top water on this shallower stretch. Um, okay. Wanted to give this, this is a new lure I've just bought. Uh, very happy with these lures. Uh, they're performing really well, but don't throw them in the reeds, that is. Uh, hopefully that's in the middle of the reeds, just for a while. And this is walking the dog. So you should see some, if we're lucky, some spark of fish come up and take them on the surface, you know. Um, great fun. And... Uh, Slow that down a little bit. <laughs> Just on that ledge where the drop off is. Been having some good results, you know, 
But, um, I'll have to see uh, how we do. That's walking the dog. So it's it's more or less a top water free fishing sort of thing. I'm not sure if that went in the weeds then. Hopefully we're lucky yet. Um, I find I've had better results getting closer to the weeds. Uh, so in my uh, my budgie can hear the birds outside and it's talking to them. Okay. Try under the boat. Have to cast a little bit to the left because it pulls to the right a bit. Seem to have a lot of trouble with the last fish uh, throwing any uh, drag on the fish, you know. Um, I don't know what I think that's still learning the game sort of thing. But I think that's probably due to bad quality line or because I've, I've only just referred the reel and the rod yesterday, you know. So I want to thought it needed anything. Not had any really big sessions and not really had any big fish to bring in. But the conditions are right. I've, I've you know, I've, I've had good, uh, good sessions on top water whilst uh, the sun's been out. Maybe it's just not the right lure for today. Uh, we'll just go through them systematically and find what they want uh, we tried that one so we'll try the blue one this is about a five and a half pie for this one that's right at the reed i believe now you would think some of them come out of that reed just where that rock is like that <laughs> choreographer that Looks like a small pike. Yeah, small pike, but it just where you'd expect it to be, you know, it's great. Great fun. That might be too far. I'll stop that before it goes in. Goes into the don't be scared of it in the left button to stop the reel. Your line, that's what you do in real. You put your finger on the line to stop it casting too far. That's your control, you know. But what a great game this is. It's really, uh, really got me. It's, I'm addicted to it, you know, which is. It's really. Uh, it's a pleasure to play, you know, and I'm getting so much fun out of this regular daily, you know. a good place you'd think the summer to pop up from that boat or then reeds if nobody been near the boat overnight like right, you know i'm gonna work my way around the you see the other reeds gonna just like spend 10 minutes in each because obviously it doesn't make for uh 
good view where you're not catching. But uh, we can't. Uh, we had a laugh on the last stream. If anybody wants to uh, catch it, it was a it was a bit of a a basic uh, tutorial on what what spinning methods we have to our you know to to our arsenal what can we use to try and attract the fish so we went through the different you know there's uh walk it walk the dog lift and uh, not lift and drop sorry uh stop and go twitching <laughs> There's another I can't think of it now. Uh, jig step up on the floor of the lake there. So, obviously, if one lure doesn't perform, just give it a few goes, move, move on, try a different colour, try a different depth, try underwater, you know, maybe they're not. Maybe this section of water's. Not triggering the surface uh, fluid, you know. Um, but it's a nice, you know, it's a nice method to to get the techniques. I've not done so good with these, so maybe why I'm failing with it. Maybe these will perform, uh, you know, produce. That's why I've, I haven't done very well with these. So maybe on a day where all else is failing, these work. Obviously, you can cast anywhere you want, you know. Don't have to be shallow water to do the top water stuff. That's why the basin is very good. You can, you have a lot of features to cast in. If you put yourself in the middle of this, you can ca cast to the, to the beach all the way around to the, you know, to the boat, really. And if you put yourself in the centre like a clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, you know, sort of thing. Um, let's cast along that edge. Let's, let's speed it up a bit. You gotta change it up if we're not if you're not catching. Mm. Make a bigger splash or something. Mm. Slow it down. Use a wobbler what goes under the surface, you know. But still in the top water. What I was thinking of doing is trying the left hand side with, uh, well, trying over this shelf with floating lures, and then on the drop offs on each side, try the funky minnows, which we had a good fish on that. That's probably one for the. The one got got away, the big one what got away for today, you know. But usually I have a, a few uh, grail in and pike and perch come up. I haven't done very well with that. <coughs> Not done very well with that. Um, these are really good. Uh, not done well with that on this lake, but on the Volkov River, brilliant on top water. Let's try that one. We'll go for one. Try that area again. See, it feels might be a bit heavy. I don't want it going in the weeds. And as Jean said, the owner of the game, uh, if you're not catching, switch it up, change about, go for a different species, you know, uh, and move, move to a, a different spot. So I think there are our options. It's, we'll just move around the, uh, 
around the lake and just try and find where they are. I'll try one more. And get in between memory. Not quite. We're over that ledge. You can speed it up a bit as well, make, you know, change it up. So faster, you can go quite fast. And you can also just slow down. Around the edge. I was hoping we'd, we'd, we'd get a few fish. Uh, it's quite um, exciting to see the, the fish come from the deep on the shelf to actually take the lure and then go back down the side of the shelf. That's what we're trying to show. Anyway, I think we've done enough in this area. Um, as with any, you know, location, it, some days are there and some are not. You need to sit there, you need to pick the end up, you need to start the engine. Okay. I'm actually, I'm actually uh, streaming now as a result of losing or uh, hooking into a big, big fish and uh, actually just we ended up losing that fish but see there's some nice structures here location camp let's see what we can do around here might be a bit too close to these but we can look at an angle and and see what we can do we're a bit too close to that really but if we do get any takes on this stretch uh i will probably end up moving back a bit but if we do get any takes on this stretch, it'll be quite exciting because it's close enough to actually close enough to actually see what we're doing sort of thing uh, as long as i don't cast in the reeds so uh, we should be fine that looks a good area where that drops off doesn't it let's see maybe it's fixed for distance that's the popper so yeah we'll work that edge of them reeds um, this is what you'd probably be doing if you had a you know, if you're on the lake, you've been moving around, watching for, you know, signs of fish being chased, little bit fish being cooked top in, you know. So well, they can look a bit too close to them than I want, than I want to be. But I feel there's gonna be some fish in here in this little. You would think that's where the fish should be. Not getting the trucks there, that's where they're walking with that. Very shallow, eh? Um, let's have a clue. Let's see if we can get into that without getting stuck. That might be too far. We can manage to just stop it before going in the rain. Got a couple of massive pike come and have a look at these lures. Um, not managed to get anything very big out. 
Uh, it's very smells over here. I'm tempted to just reverse back a little bit. I'm a little bit too close than I want to be really. Um, put that down. Sit down. <coughs> okay, let's just reverse to there a little bit. We'll move on to the next section. Oh, I wanted to be about... Let's see if we can get an angle on that next section. That looks about right there. Uh, something like that. Let's see. I'm probably too far away now, but a uh, full cast won't get us stuck in the weeds, that's what I mean. Hopefully we'll get us right on the edge of what we're trying to work. So I'm going to try and work the edge of that reed. Get the rod of wax blown better. Um, stand up. Right. I'm going to try and work a yard from the edge of that weed there. And then we'll call the way across here and in these areas. That's where I would think there'd be fish coming. You know, that's, that's the sort of... I'd say that was my target area of catching. So obviously we'll go through our lures again. Let's see if we can see any anything come up from. We might be totally unlucky and not get anything on the top water with us today, but they have produced other days, I know. It's just a matter of finding the lure they want today, you know. Or the speed they want. Maybe I'm a little bit too fast, you know. Try a slower speed. We'll probably let that go one to reach. Does they do better than this? Don't want to stay too long in in one area because I do want to try and get through the through the whole reed area before it goes like eleven o'clock uh, before it goes dark. Rather give that full uh, full cast and not get into the reeds. Yeah, this class is not performing today. Okay. Fishing quite heavy, you could fish lighter than this. Uh, let's try the other popper. I've not done very well with this one, so we're having a hard day maybe. The ones what don't work on Today might look today. Or maybe they're just not here, you know, they might have switched up. I have been catching quite a lot of pike recently. Maybe the the actual fish that I'm targeting have actually been switched off to, you know, from what I, from what Jean was explaining, and they want me to target other fish. But this this planet was grailing that I've not caught for a while, and I would say if they switched anything off, it'd be the it'd be the pike and perch what I've caught most of recently. Okay, what did we not try earlier on? This is very good. This is under the surface there. Um, it's not really... It is a wobbler, but it, it's an under surface wobbler. Just see if they're under the water. Well, we know they're under the water. That's a silly uh, thing to say, but... Right, not on top water, no, that's not... Uh, 
it's not kicking at that speed, so let's find out what's going on. It does like a big dipper sort of up and down movement. Okay, so see so what that would all be. Ah, there it is. You see what it's doing like a. I don't think it's going fast enough this one. It's doing like an up and down. I can shoot forward when I do the jig. Okay, a bit faster. Let's try this one. That's striking down on the bottom, that's not good. Okay. Back on top. in a nice wake on the top of the water, isn't it? I could have parked this as that. Two more cast guys will go the other end of the the reeds. Right guys, I think it's time to move to the other end. Uh, I think this will be one of them uh, strings you delete <laughs> after after you lose a fish and don't catch any more. It's not much of a a good stream, but maybe copy me and don't uh, and <laughs> don't do as I do. Yeah, I should have said don't copy me. Do exactly opposite from what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, I, I would have moved, you know, I would have watched every area. Of, I think there is a point here that we can look all the rest of the reeds with a few casts and see if we can hook into something. Try and get the same distance from that reed to the center reed and the end reed. Something like something like that. We can we can reach that. Maybe turn in a bit. It's this side I wanna work real. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> See how we do. It's getting a bit dark but it's been a lovely day even though we've not caught. Let's see, this is where I usually get my pipe. Although I'm, I'm usually a bit closer than that, but I put... No, I get a few takes, but I'm usually closer to the reef than that. And it's going dark fast. Right. 
I'm not doing so bad. Let's just say, enter that one. Yeah, I'm not close enough. I do seem to do better getting getting the cast close to the reeds when I do spin, but they take all the way across this way, you know. I'm not sure that way in the Not much further. No one. Can't catch a fish. <laughs> Won't believe the last uh, the last stream I had. I was trying to show how to do stop and go and uh, a couple more. There we go. We've got one final spot for us. And it's just gone dark that you can't probably see the fish. It's a little out of it. And there's <laughs> I think there should be a rush. Uh, sorry, not a rush. I think I should be just going to try and hold it for five minutes and then out of the Part of the game uh, has been adjusted so that I never see anything here. It's totally black. Is it coming out? Are we going to be lucky? It looks a decent part, but at the moment, with how my reel and lines working, it's probably my best pike is five and a half, and I don't think it's that big. I can say that I can't see a thing. <laughs> it looks really dark in this corner, guys. Um, I've got blazing sunshine coming through my window. What's going on my screen? So I can't actually see a thing myself now. Feels like it's coming. You know, as long as the heat won't come out. We're making progress with this one. But as for where the fish is, I'm not going to can't actually train them it's over there. I'm tempted to hit the shift button to just to pull it to the surface a bit. But I've been pulling out a fish, so I don't really want to do that. And um, we're running a bit low on power as well, so I can see it now. So. It doesn't look very big actually. Uh, a lot of fighting for uh, small fish. So <laughs> I think that uh, did go in the keep net. Um, it was 3.6. 3.6 pint. What I find is a bit not annoying. I, I can probably change it actually. Uh, change up the the collect fish and if you if you want to use a keep net at that point just as you've got full tension on your fish um fortunately it's not the backspace delete but as you use, if you click space bar to use the landing net it's actually accepting the fish at the same time because you've actually landed it so um well i don't know why it looks so dark guys the it's a clear sky, but there's no moon, that's what the problem is. Um, I think it's pointless. Uh, <laughs> you guys can't see a thing. Um, and I can't see a thing. So I think I'll leave this, this on, a, on the fish. And uh, I'll move around to the reeds near the, the light. Maybe we can we can see a bit of action on the top water. And the top water stuff down there. And we can also, always weigh the uh, the fish in, you know. Actually, I'll put the stream onto 
to show the, you know, to see if we could get that fish in and have it uh, documented sort of thing, the catching of the fish with a, a float, was it a sinking funky minnow, I think it was, that we're trying to uh, stop go with the sinking, which is, I'm finding a little bit harder to master the stop and go with the sinking lures. The floating lures are a lot easier, like the floating funky minnows. Um, if we've got any, we can see what's going on here and we can see the... Oh, silence! Ah! There we can see the action of the top water uh, in the reflection that we're getting off the of the village or the the you know the the lake complex. I'm not sure what you would call that. Um, if we cast in there, we should be able to see the the lure moving through the reflection. Let's see if we. If it works, we can just about to see it. Let's just see. Oh, see. Of course, no guarantee. I've, I've not actually fished around this side at the reef yet. Um, I think it was Mike in the last stream that mentioned the reeds were okay around here uh, for picking up pike, so. Probably can't see that what we're doing, but see the wake of the um top water waggler. Uh, wobbler, sorry. Um we can see it displacing it looks like liquid silver. We'll just get, have a couple of casts and uh, we don't do anything, we can turn around and fish in the deep water if we wanted to. Um, because we, we'll be close to the 10 metre pool, I think. Let's have a look. Anyway. Yeah, I think casting over there would get us in the, in the deep water. Anywhere over here, probably that as well. Let's have a see. Um, with, I'd call the top water a fail uh, this time. Uh, let's try to see what we get with this one. Let's uh, cast for the air. Cast for the air. Let's try it on the islands to our right. This should be covering over deep, deep water. Uh, let's see if we can get a stop and go going on. So, so we four. Yeah, and the display, you know. Every time I see the the name, I, I try to do three retreats. What's happening is um, the floating funky minnow wants to come to the surface. If you can see the, what's happening, can you see it? It's 
it's like uh, it's like uh, <laughs> it's like a floating funky minnow. <laughs> it's when I retrieve it, it goes to its working depth with its blade. So I give it four to get down to a working depth, and then it now is making its way up. So when I see the stop and go, I just do three more retrieves, and it brings it back to working depth and starts to floating up again. So it's doing like a like a yo-yo going up and down sort of thing whilst it's coming into us as well. Now this is working mid-water to the surface and uh, if we put the sinking one in we can work, we can work the... Oh, that one then. Why wow, it seem to go more slack than usual. Um, what I would do is fish this a few times and then work the mid water to surface water and then uh, try a, a sinking funky minnow what works the river lake bed to the mid water you know um, to its working depth so let's cast straight out with that down so something like that something like that I think it's working to four meters, so I think there's a lot of eight meter, eight meter water here, with a, as well as the ten meter deep hole. So, I didn't complete the three, so I'll start it again, going down to working depth on the way up. Once I see the name. Real prime real three. I didn't do the full three again then. One, two, three. And then once it see the one, two, three. Okay. Last cast straight at the hour, isn't it? Take it four to get it down. One, two, three, four. Okay. And on the way up, we see this stop and go on. One, two, three. And there we go. And then I see it again. I do the one, two, three. See it again. One, two, three. By this time, you get in the routine and just. Anticipate when that stop and go would be, you know, coming up for the next one and keep the three going. One, two, three. And that way we brought it in all the way that time. One, two, three. Of course, they may not be uh, ideal for night fishing. Uh, I've, I have caught pike on them at night and that. Okay, let's try the deeper. Let's not make it a, a casting demo now while we've not got many fish. Uh, we're looking for the funky minnow. Sinking funky minnow. There we go. Okay, so this one works the opposite way then. It, you cast him and get it working at its working depth. So we can do that. One, two, three, four. Now this is stopping and sinking now. So on the way down it should do the it should do the one, two, three. On the way down sinking it should do the stop and go. If we, if we get it looking. One, two, three. Right. Touching bottom. So it said when Dean said when it's touching bottom, you will only get um, jig step instead of stop and go. So 
and cast it a bit this way to try and get one open water. A bit deeper water. Probably need to. That's there for a let it sink. And when you see the stuff and go give it three. That's what's been working for me at the moment. One, two, three. You don't need to actually count today. I'm just trying to do it to to show you what I'm how I'm getting the you know the different. The different uh, retrieves. So obviously twitching is just a normal retrieve speed. The the right button every second or so. You see, it, it says twitching. If you go like square on and you lose the twitching, just bring it back a bit, aim it towards it and you should get it you can do it a bit faster aiming straight at it you have to be a bit slower to get the twitching from the side but good technique catches a lot of fish and they're just a deep step now i think uh, we'll put a, a lure that works in these uh, deeper waters but i think we showed everything else obviously you've got the straight retrieve we've got far too many to show you this dig step so um so okay this then which is not far two minutes of our time so we'll be about a minute or so okay that that will sink down in the deep abyss and then all i do is bounce it on the bottom when it gets to the bottom that is May have to speed it up a bit. I don't want to carry the button yet. Proper. Let's speed it up a bit. Now. Will we get a jig step before the actual? Uh, maybe not. Ah, here we go again, the jig step now. So that's just bouncing it across the bottom. Lifting it off the bottom and laying it all back to the bottom. There's the jig, jig step, guys. We'll get, we'll get thrown off the boat in a minute. <laughs> this is usually when I hook into a fish and panic. <laughs> We've been lucky with the last two we've hooked into at this time. Managed to hit shift. If you hit shift, you get a speed up sign. I'm not sure if we'll see it, but um, there we go. I'll put that in while we go to the see in the shops. <laughs> hey, magic. Okay, guys, that was uh, the end of a pretty, pretty poor stream uh, where we didn't catch many fish. Um, Totally opposite to the other um, stream where I was trying to demonstrate the reeling techniques and couldn't stop catching fish. Okay, we got eleven pound for that. That's a nice uh, eleven silver. Sorry, twenty-one silver for a little uh, top water demo. Uh, we're going to need a lot more than that for the for the bit, you know, for the things what we need. Okay, guys, uh, that was just a quick. Uh, a quick stream just to try and capture that fish at the beginning really uh, which we failed to do so more 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 practice needed thanks for watching guys appreciate it catch you later